Hi, this is Nick Davis from graphicdesignemployment.com and this is a, a tutorial on how to cut out hair from a background uh, using Photoshop. This image here um, I chose because I wanted to find a, a really complicated one to work on, one that had a, a very detailed background and hair that was very fine and curly and really blended into the background almost inextricably and uh, this was one of the ones that I found um, and now this tutorial is going to start off with this and end up with something like this uh, so if this is the sort of thing uh, that you want to know how to do then uh, this will hopefully cover it um, now e every image, uh, certainly every hair cutout image that you work on has uh, different attributes and so not every step in this tutorial will work for every image. Uh, it is very much a case of trial and error. Um, this image is going to focus on using a combination of color replace, uh, blending mode options and um, a bit of uh, cleaning up channels um, to achieve the finished result but different images require different approaches and this is why I've done three or four tutorials um, each one approaches it uh, the subject quite differently um, this one works uh, does a, a lot of work with the layers another one with channels uh, another one I, I use uh, the fluid mask plugin for hopefully you will find something from uh, one of these tutorials that will help you with your particular image. Uh, so, as I said, every image has elements working against you, uh, and generally there's at least one element that works in your favour. Now, this image has several things working against me, not least of which are the steps over here on the left, and they've got this sort of strip of white that juts in to uh, the hair and you can really see it uh, cutting into the background there and uh, also the railings vertical railings over on the right hand side uh, that's one problem the second problem is obviously the hair itself is very fine and frizzy and uh, it's going to be very difficult um, to extract uh, however the good news is there is one thing that is working strongly in our favor and that is the hair color itself and that is what we're going to focus on I like to work uh, non-destructively when I'm working uh, with images which means I, I keep copies of all the source files all the layers so that uh, if I do make um, some kind of error and I want to uh, revert then I don't have to resort to using the history palette too much because if you save a file and close it of course the history is lost so it's better to make sure that you keep um, copies of all the layers in progress to work non-destructively so um, what we're going to do throughout this tutorial is make a number of copies of the background layer you can do this all in one go at the beginning or you can do it as you go I'm going to do it as I go um, and the first thing we want to do is copy the background layer so I'm just going to duplicate that by dragging it over the um, create new layer button here and there it is uh, now next we're going to invert this top layer so we're going to go image adjustments invert next from the blending drop down menu here I'm going to select color so that it turns back into a positive and the blue is really starting to show it through now and now I'm going to duplicate the background layer again, select the two top layers, right click on it, or control click if you're on a Mac, with, and then select merge layers. So now we have two layers, uh, one this, this, this blue one and the original underneath. The next thing we're going to do is invert this top layer again. So we're going to go image, adjustments, invert. Let's do that again invert and then select linear burn and now we've got rid of a lot of the background it's, it's gone very dark obviously her arms and shoulders and body down here has as well but we can fix that later the important thing is the the um, the hair is really starting to show up now 
Firstly, I'm going to duplicate the background layer again, select the top two layers, and again, right click and merge those two layers. The next thing we're going to do is use levels to uh, brighten up this red. So go image, adjustments, levels. Now, assuming you're working in RGB color mode, and we are, uh, to make sure you are, select image mode RGB color. Um, assuming you're working in RGB, you'll see um, under the channel pop up on, in the levels dialog box here, uh, a red, green and blue channel. And these correspond to the red, green and blue channels in your channels palette. There. So what we're going to do is select image levels and we're going to select the red channel and drag the white slider up to about where this sort of histogram chart begins. If we take it too far up, this detail around here will start to be lost. So just take it up to where the histogram starts. Then select the green channel and drag the black slider down to the right and then the blue drag the black slider down to the right and that will get rid of um, any blue and green information and enhance the red and we're going to click OK. Now uh, as I said before this works for this image because the hair was very red to begin with and that's what we're using to our advantage but um, every image is different every hair color is going to be slightly different so it's a matter of trial and error. Just do what works for the image in question. Um, we're going to use replace color to start to turn this red into white or a very much lighter hue. So to do that, we're going to go image, adjustments, replace color. And uh, we end up with this dialog box. Uh, we're going to click on an area of bright red right here in the middle and take the fuzziness slider all the way up. We're going to take the saturation down and the lightness all the way up. And now you can really start to see that we are getting close to uh, all, an almost monochromatic channel that we're going to be able to work with. So let's click OK. So the next thing we're going to do is select all and copy the selection with this top layer selected um, and then I'm going to hide that layer, go to the channels palette, click create new channel and it'll create one called alpha one and then paste the selection into it. Now it goes, um, turns into a completely mono image um, because it's single channel plate and this is what we're now going to work on. So uh, we want to um, deselect and now start work on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is block out the areas of white um, and black. Uh, so everything we want to keep is going to be white and everything we want to get rid of is going to be black. 